ranking every single movie and TV show in the MonsterVerse from worst to best. MonsterVerse just keeps on growing and growing. It's starting to get kaiju sized at this point. And with that, there's seven projects total. So we got to get to the bottom of which one is on top. And don't ever forget, it's my list. I can't miss. Kicking off the list, I got the animated Skull Island series from Netflix. Next up, I got Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And much respect to the Ion Dragon, but it got folded like an omelet. Next up, I got the 2014 Godzilla film. And I know. <gasps> Next up, I'm going with Godzilla vs. Kong. And I know. <gasps> this is also like top two for most people. And I think without a doubt, this got the best kaiju on kaiju action. Hey, yo. Next up, we got our newcomer to the list and Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. And I know this one's been having mixed reactions, but it gave me everything I could ever want from a Showa era inspired Godzilla movie. In second place, I got Kong Skull Island. I mean, it's basically Apocalypse Now with a kaiju. It's Apocalypse Kong. Cinematography? Mwah! Larry Fong was cooking. One of the hardest kaiju introductions of all time. Are you seeing this? But hands down in first place for me personally is Godzilla King of the Monsters without a doubt. This one just pays the biggest homages and respect to every era of Toho. From not only giving us classic Toho monsters like Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah, but the real reason is because they acknowledge my lord and savior Godzilla. 